guys welcome back to my channel creativity and inspiration I'm Lisa I am happy you are here if you're new welcome we are so happy you found us and if you're coming back for a second third or fourth time thank you today we are doing something so fun and if you noticed we're in the kitchen Woo! I love being in my kitchen today we are recreating three hot TikTok recipes for you one is an appetizer it's a green goddess salad from Baked by Melissa. It has all sorts of good vegetables in it. It's really, you know, good for you. So Green Goddess is gonna be our appetizer. Our main course is going to be pizza toast from Haley Bieber. And if you don't know Haley Bieber, she is Justin Bieber's wife. And dessert will be my very own creation. It will be s'mores in the microwave, but they're delicious, so don't let the microwave scare you. So let's jump into this because it takes a little bit of time to get the Green Goddess prepped. But I guarantee if you love fresh fresh and vegetables and stuff, you're going to love this appetizer. So the first thing that we start with, instead of lettuce for this Green Goddess salad, is cabbage. We chop up our cabbage and our cucumber very fine. And then in the blender, we're going to put spinach, and arugula, green onion, chives, garlic, a pinch of salt. We're going to put some lemon juice, some olive oil, and some almonds. Everything going into our blender to make our dressing is actually making a pesto. So it's going to be great. I love all the ingredients. That will be our green goddess salad for our appetizer. And like I said, our pizza toast, which is from Haley Bieber, is just bruschetta bread, fresh tomatoes, pizza sauce, and cheese. And that's it. And this isn't the cheese she used. I couldn't find the burrata. She uses bread. I couldn't find it. So you make do with what you can find, okay? Let's chopping. Let's get busy, and I'll pull out the blender to make that dressing after I get the cucumber and the cabbage all chopped up. So this is my cabbage, and all the cabbage were really small, which is fine for this recipe. I was just a little shocked that they were all about this size. I guess weather, maybe? I don't know. And we're just going to chop this up, so. And I had already washed it, guys. So just be sure you wash yours, which I know you will. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to chop this and then I'll bring it in and get the rest of it. Okay, I decided I had enough of the cabbage chop, so I'm gonna save that piece that was left for a dinner one night. Grilled cabbage with seasoning and some garlic and onion is really good. So I'll just save that for our dinner one night. I'm gonna get out this English, long English organic cucumber which was the only cucumber left in the store, by the way. And like I said, I couldn't find the Beretta cheese for um, Haley Bieber's recipe. But this is baked by Melissa's recipe. I will link the TikTok below because I'm sure hers is much better than mine. This end has gotten bad just since I bought this yesterday, so I'm just going to throw that away. And I'm going to cut the other end off, and then I'm just going to chop this the same way. Again, I'll cut the rest for dinner one night. Okay, so that's all that goes in my bowl there. I'm going to move that out of the way. Now let me get my blender. Alright, so here's my blender. I'm going to put in everything that will make up my pesto or my dressing for this. 
This is my arugula. Did she use basil instead of arugula? I don't like basil and neither does my husband. So you of course can make your own. All right, now there's our dressing. Oh, it smells, it smells good. Now we're gonna just mix this and with this, okay. And put it in there. That just helps get everything out. And then I'm just gonna take my spoon and just stir it all in together. And it looks really good. Now they eat theirs on a chip. But I didn't chop my cabbage up enough, so I'm actually gonna eat it like a salad. Okay, there is our green goddess salad. We're gonna cover it and put it away for later. And we got all of our dressing out. And that was enough dressing. It's all thoroughly coated for our pizza toast from Haley Bieber. We've got our bruschetta bread. Oh, the bread smells really good. Okay. And she butters both sides, but I'm just going to butter one because I think that's all it needs. pan here. So I'm going to butter my bread real quick on one side. Now you know what? I'm going to go ahead and butter it on both sides. I think it will taste better. Got our bread butter, but before we pull it over to top with a little olive oil, she topped hers with truffle oil. Again, couldn't find any truffle oil. If you can find it, use it. It's very, it's rich, rich flavor. It's really good, but I couldn't find any, so we're just going to use a little olive oil. But before we do that, we're going to get one clove of garlic out of our little pod here. Bring my toast into view, and I'm gonna take my half of garlic and just rub it on my bread with my butter. Now, if you don't have garlic, but you have garlic powder, you could definitely sprinkle just a tad on here. But this will impart that really garlic pizza flavor on there, and it's just a good tip. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm gonna spoon that. Wipe my hands, drizzle just a teeny bit of olive oil on each one. Whoops, okay. And if you do like I did and drizzle just a little bit more, just share the love. Share the love. Okay, that works. So I shared the love, rubbed the olive oil all over my bread, 
which is an extra step. Haley didn't do that, but I did because I like that flavor. We're gonna pop these in the oven for 350 till they're crispy on both sides. Okay, while that is heating up in the oven, we're gonna clean up just a minute. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our marinara sauce in a pan and heat it up. We're just gonna dump it in the pan. And you can use whatever brand you have, you want, you like. That's in the store. That seems to be how I have to buy things. What is in our local Albertsons or Vons or Ralph's. So I just dumped my marinara in here and I'm gonna just heat this up over a slow flame. I'm gonna move my cheese away from that slow flame. Now our tomatoes, we're gonna come in and cut those up. Okay, we're gonna cut up our tomatoes and I got on the vine tomatoes. They're kind of small, but you know what? That'll do. Okay, I'm just going to slice them into slices. So I cut them all into slices. I'm going to hit them with a splash of lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil and salt. So I'm going to spread them out so I can hit them with all of that. Let's see if I can do this better than I did it with the bread. And oh, I didn't do that any better than I did with the bread. So just dip it if you mess it, you know, if you make a mess, it's fine. It's fine, just dip your tomatoes in. And then we're gonna splash them with a little lemon juice. I'm gonna put a little lemon juice in my cap and kind of just do it from the cap, that way I don't There we go. Okay, now they're all ready. I'm gonna hit them with a little salt and a little pepper. Okay guys, there's our crunchy toast. Now we're gonna add our marinara sauce to the top. Excuse me. We're gonna add some marinara sauce to the top. Oops, sorry. I'm just spreading the marinara sauce on. All right, so we've spread our marinara sauce. Now we're going to top with our tomatoes. We're topping our bread with our tomatoes that we coated in some lemon juice and um, olive oil. Now, now I'm just going to take my Romano mozzarella cheese. She used bruschetta. I couldn't find any. These are beautiful, long. So we're gonna cover this with those. Lots of cheese except on one because somebody is lactose intolerant. And then we'll come back with a little more marinara sauce on each one. Okay, and then we'll top them with some Parmesan when they come out again. So this is everything. We're going to put them in just till the cheese melts. And then once the cheese melts, we'll top them again. Everybody else, I'll top them more of that. Mine, I'll just top with a little Parmesan. And that's it. We are done. Now the dessert, I will do after.
my hubby and I eat because we don't want the food to get cold. I did add one thing that was different. I added, a, I rubbed garlic onto the bread itself. Okay, I'm gonna top some of my husband's with more mozzarella. And then I'm gonna put it back in for just a minute so that extra mozzarella on his can melt. See, that's his. Mine's down there with hardly any cheese because of my lactose intolerance. And yes, I've tried pills, and no, they don't work. That's that. Now I'm going to hit him with some Parmesan glass. And that is our crispy toast pizzas. And finally, mine down there on the end. All right, we'll give this a taste test. Okay guys, I've got my pizza toast and I'm getting my salad now. Very pretty, I'm gonna add one of our leftover tomatoes to it. It's a very pretty, very pretty dish. So let's taste this. Okay guys, so let's taste this. Look how pretty, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous colors, vi vibrant. Mm. That's good. That green goddess. Mm. That is fresh. You taste all the spinach, arugula, the cabbage is, you know, it's got that lemony, that. Mm. That is good. That is fresh. That's a new take on Green Goddess. And it's beautiful color, as you can see. Mm, that's good. But let me try my pizza for you. I'll leave the recipes down below. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Definitely say Haley Bieber is a good pizza maker. <laughs> okay, guys. Mm. Okay, guys. Well, after I eat, I'll come back and I'll do the s'mores for you. So hang on till then. Okay, guys. We had our salad and our main course. Now we're going to have dessert, which is our microwave easy s'mores that come out delicious. So come on in and let me show you how I make these. So I'm just going to make them in a plate. It's Microsoft safe. Microsoft safe. Oh my gosh. It's microwave safe. And I'm going to get... What do you make s'mores out of? Graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows, right? Well, that's exactly what I used for this. And then I take my crackers and I break them into their little sections, just like nachos. And do however many crackers you think you might need. Okay, so there's my s'mores crackers. Next, I'm going to top with a little chocolate syrup. Just a little. Okay. Okay. I've topped with a little chocolate syrup. Now I'm going to top with a couple of my Hershey bars. These are tiny ones. They have the little squares just like the regular ones do. And I'm just going to break them apart and fit them around the plate. And I'll probably do three of this size on here. 
Now I have my marshmallows. These are big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marshmallow and a knife and cut it into sections. And then place around my plate. And kind of in between the chocolate. Not on the chocolate, but in between the chocolate. And that's one. And it's going to take however many you need because of however much, you know. However much crackers you used and that kind of thing. So, you can t top it on the chocolate too if you want. But first, do it every section in between. Because that way you'll have a nice mixture of chocolate and gooey if you do it in between the chocolates. Okay, one more, so that's about four. And then you can put a few on top as well, about two. Okay. And now I'm going to cut two up and kind of top on top of all the chocolate. And when your plate looks something like that, then all we're going to do is pop it into the microwave. And then I popped it in for about 35 seconds. And it's ooey gooey melted. Mmm. So, so good. Guys, these s'mores are so good, so easy, and they're fun. They're just rich in chocolate and marshmallow. So I hope you enjoyed this video with all these recipes. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below. Which one are you going to try? Take care, and I'll see you next time.